Live hand and living correlation. This right here is the raw pre show. This right here is the first episode of Heat here in Universe Mode. And we kick things off with these men the Viking Raiders. Well, here we go. The first episode of Heat, ladies and gentlemen. First episode of Heat, but along with that, we will have Velocity. Just before SmackDown, that's a part of both the Raw and SmackDown pre-shows. Here and now, to kick things off in the first episode of Heat, the Viking Rares making their Universe Mode debut. As they take on, well, you saw the two men right there in the background, two local competitors here at night. The Viking Rares. We'll look to take them on in singles, well not singles, if anything, in tag team action. Well, if anything, I'm being told right now, those two men are called Jamie Yates and Jody Flynn. Well, those two men, if anything, they're rather large men. We didn't show their entrances. That's the episode of Heat just before Raw has started. As that man right there is Jody Flynn, his tag team partner in the red is Jamie Yates. Look at these two men, they tower over the Viking Raiders. These two local competitors here tonight, they tower over the Viking Raiders. Look at how, look at the size difference between Ivar and Jody Flynn. Oh, he just gets taken down right there. And now Ivar sets his sights on Jamie Yates. Look at the size difference, it's immense. But yet Ivar is able to keep his own when facing off against these two. And now, oh, look at that nerf hold here. Has the shoulder blades. Jody Flynn trying to fight out of it. Look at this Ivar. Oh, God. Ivar wrenching down. Oh, that's devastating as all hell. Of course, the Viking Raiders. This is their humor smell debut. They are assigned to the Raw roster. They have not been showcased. Not yet. From Raw Gem Manager, John Bradshaw Layfield. Of course, don't forget. After this is your episode of Raw. Main event, as it was hyped up last week on Raw, Becky Lynch gets another opportunity at Naomi for the Raw Women's title. Of course, in the Money in the Bank kickoff show, Naomi beat Becky to become the new Raw Women's Champion. She gets another shot here at night. And now, look at this. Oh my god! What a knee right there from Eric. Taking down Jody Flynn. And oh, Flynn now trying to fight back here. He has the immense height advantage, and he's going to use that to his advantage. These two could be perhaps the most dominant local competitors we've seen in WWE history. And I'm not lying when I say that. Usually when we see local competitors, they're rather small. Even smaller than cruiserweights. They're featherweights. But here at night, these two, these two men, they're perhaps the biggest local competitors we've seen in WWE history. Well, that's not going to start Eric and Ivar. Oh, but look at that big time form right there but from, from Jamie Yates. Oh. And Eric, he's trying to chop the man down. He's trying to chop the big man down. It's not able to do it. So he's just going to bring him down with a neck breaker. Enough of the strikes, Eric decides. That's Jody Flynn now. Well, these two men definitely do not know how to dress, if anything. Just look at the bright colors Jody Flynn is sporting. And then Jamie Yates, I have no clue what's happening with him. But Eric here. Nerve holds here. Being used from both Eric and Ivar. And now, oh, what a shot right there, Superman Punch. If anything, and of course, if anything, as hyped up this past Tuesday on SmackDown, last week Tuesday, if anything, Roman Reigns will be in the main event. He takes on Lars Sullivan in a notice qualification contest, a matchup made from Gem Manager Edge. Well, if anything, by Gem Manager Edge after Sullivan attacked Orton this past Tuesday. And now, oh. That was going to be a punch, but instead switches up to a snap mare. And Eric, he does not care. One bit. He's mad by that. Oh, misses the strike, though. Gets the kick there. And now Jody Flynn. He's in trouble. Feels the effects of that one kick. And now off the ropes he goes. Oh, Eric not able to retaliate here. You know, the Viking Raiders are usually pretty dominant. But they're having, their, they're having their troubles here. They're having a struggle here against Jamie Yates and Jody Flynn. Well, if anything, I spoke too soon. Because Eric is on the top rope, and the Viking experience connects. And now, wait a second. 
Jamie Yates being lifted up again. And now it's Eric on top rope. Another Viking experience. Two for the price of one. Eric with a cover. And that's it. Just in time. Luckily enough. And the Viking Raiders pick up the victory. Here tonight. On Heat. Majority of that matchup was ruled by the Viking Raiders. But those two local competitors. Those two big men. Gave the Viking Raiders a run for their money occasionally. Keyword occasionally. And at the end of the day, Viking Raiders are just better than Jimmy Yates and Jody Flynn. Their first victory here in Euro Smoke history, and it comes via the first ever episode of Heat. Let the war begin. Well, if anything, let the raid begin. They're no longer War Machine. Forgot about that. As Eric and I were celebrating, ladies and gentlemen, up next when we return from break, it's your main event. Just before the episode of Raw begins, it's Bobby Lashley. The almighty Bobby Lashley takes on the either world's Bray Wyatt. Don't go anywhere. For that right there is your main event when we return here at night on Heat. We are back here on Heat just before the upcoming episode of Raw. To be exact, it is Raw Week 6, which of course will happen when Heat is over with. It is now time for your main event. Lashley in action. Well, this is the second matchup here in Universe Mode. It's been now seven weeks in game weeks. In reality, it's really been like five actual real life months. But seven in game weeks here in Universe Mode. Of course, a couple weeks back, Bobby Lashley came up short in the main event against Drew McIntyre. I believe that was Raw Week 3. And well, Lashley McIntyre had one hell of a main event match, but then it was Drew McIntyre who picked up a victory. Getting more momentum heading into his matchup at Mind the Bank against University Chip and Seth Rollins. Of course, Rollins able to retain the title on that night a couple days ago. And well, if anything, of course, last week in the main event of Raw, after Drew McIntyre bested Sami Zayn, Mark Henry, a returning Mark Henry, who returned, of course, at Mind the Bank by attacking Seth Rollins, attacked Drew McIntyre as a part of retribution from earlier on in the night. Uh, well, we will, we shall have a medical update on Drew McIntyre to open up the show for Raw in a matter of minutes once Heat is done with. And lastly, he has a tough contest, a tough opponent, if anything, here tonight on the first edition of Heat. And that man is the eater of worlds, Bray Wyatt, making his Universe Mode debut here tonight. And of course, there are some members of the Wyatt family along here. Eric Rowan, he is on SmackDown along with that solo Luke Harper of anything. Braun Strowman, he is here on Raw. Not sure if Braun and Bray are really associated with each other anymore. So while Bray doesn't really have the Wyatt family anymore, he still has the lair and he still has the fireflies around this arena. All of which are supporters of Bray, which you know is kind of weird when he supports kind of a cult leader, but that's beside the point. Bray Wyatt, well, his numerous small debut, he looks to pick up a victory and make Bobby Lashley go 0 2, but the Almighty, I'm pretty sure he does not want that to happen. This whole eerie entrance gives you chills down your spine. This man, Bray Wyatt, as insanely talented. As he is, well, creepy, to say the least. Of course, I got my skybox here. So I'm up in the rafters. Well, not really the rafters. If I was in the rafters, I'll be with rafters. If I was in the rafters, I will be with Sting, which would be awesome. Uh, well, s sadly, I'm not. But, you know, I got my own little area, which I always need to brag about. So luckily enough, I'm not down there too close to the action. You know, because if I was, the announce table 
will break, and along with that, I will also break with the announce table. Anyway, Bray Wyatt is now, now in the ring here. As we get ready for your main event. And Bray Wyatt trying to psych himself up. Wyatt has a tough task ahead of him as he faces the Almighty. Lashley, well, he did come up short against Drew McIntyre a couple weeks back. Best believe Lashley still one hell of a chance. Now, here you go. Your main event of heat. Moments before, Monday Night Raw begins. And here we go. And Bray Wyatt already taunted. Not going to take Lashley serious at all. And that one right there was not smart on the part of the Eater of Worlds. Or maybe it was because, you know, the takedown by Lashley with the close. And, of course, we have also... Of, oh, there you go. The Eater of Worlds. But, of course, we are... A couple days removed, if anything. Two days removed. From NXT TakeOver Blackpool. What a great event it truly was. Of course, a new NXT champion in the limitless one. Keith Lee had one hell of a main event matchup against Adam Cole. Keith Lee, your new NXT champion. Among with that, had a great tag team matchup to open up the night. A great ladder match for a North American title. We saw SmackDown's Apollo Crews and Chad Gable do battle in hopes to get a spot to not only stay on SmackDown, but also to return back to NXT to what to be assigned to both brands. Along with that, in the middle of the night, we had one hell of a triple threat for the NXT Women's Championship between champions Shayna Baszler and challengers Tony Storm and Rhea Ripley. I will not spoil the results for that, however. But if anything, if you did not watch NXT TakeOver Blackpool, then surely watch it. It was one hell of a pay-per-view NXT's first ever TakeOver here in Eurosmith history, and man, was it a great one. But anyway, going back on to your main event here is Bray Wyatt with the upper hand on Bobby Lashley. Lashley able to roll out the way of the wax handle. Oh, big time clothesline by the big man. And Lashley tells Bray to get back up. Bray, for sure, is stunned after that shot. And, well, Bobby just going to force Bray back up, if anything. Not going to even wait for him to get back up. And, oh! Misses the running crossbody. And now Lashley here, oh, big time strike. And, oh, headbutt across to the back of the skull. Back in the neck area. And Lashley now. In the corner awaiting. For Bray Wyatt to get back up. If anything, majority of this matchup. To be fair, rather surprisingly. Is Bobby Lashley. And I say that, you know, Lashley for sure. One half better. But Bray Wyatt. This man was, at one point. He was, I would say, even more feared than The Undertaker. A couple years back. Back when he had Rowan and Harper by his side. This is the man that gave John Cena one hell of a run for his money. A couple years back, this is the man that made Daniel Bryan join them. Although, albeit it was for a cup of coffee, but that's beside the point. This man, Bray Wyatt, should not be taken lightly. At all. He is a dangerous man. And I'm just surprised that Bobby Lashley has been having as much good moments so far in the early stages of the matchup. For as much as he had. But now Bray Wyatt looking... To get back in control of that side of the suplex. And Bray now. Oh, here we go. Off the ropes. And oh, big time cross. I don't even know if that's even a cross body, to be fair. I guess it kind of is. And oh, look at this. Bray Wyatt here perhaps looking to end this main event early. Of course, the exorcist walk. And Bray. Well, Bobby Lashley, he's knocked out cold after that cross body. He has no clue where he's at. Of course, he awakes and see that he's for sure going to be scared. And now Bray Wyatt looks to end your main event. He's Sister Abigail. Good night, the Almighty. Bobby Lashley is done for. No, he's not. And Lashley kicks out and Bray Wyatt is livid. He's irate. There is no stopping this man here tonight. Bray Wyatt's universe mode debut. If you ask me, I feel like management, a.k.a. Raw Gym Manager JBL, could have used this man of course in the earlier episodes of Raw but if anything having him on Heat first episode of Heat which I've read said a lot of times but over there and we now Lashley here oh Barrage is right into that barricade using your environment to your advantage if anything to open up the night up next well, when Raw actually begins, will be Cesaro and Rey Mysterio. A couple weeks back, Rey Mysterio came up short against Seth Rollins, University of Seth Rollins. It was a go-home show two weeks ago, if anything, before Rollins defended and retained successfully against Drew McIntyre. 
and a lot of that Cesaro was of course in the main event, Mind the Bank, in the Mind the Bank ladder match, one of the four competitors represented Raw along with Cesaro, The Miz, and Ricochet. Cesaro did come up short as it was SmackDown's Buddy Murphy and SmackDown's Asuka that picked up a victory. And if anything, Buddy Murphy, he will be in action this Tuesday on Velocity, first episode of Velocity. Well, Asuka will be in action this Tuesday on SmackDown. Don't miss that. As now Bray Wyatt launches Bobby Lashley up in the air with a bit by bye drop. Lashley in trouble here. Bray has him up, slams him down quickly into a cover. Now shoots the half. Can this be it here? Two and oh, three. Lashley, Bray getting his shoulder up. Goes to show Bray is doing some damage here tonight. As now Bray Wyatt. Oh, looking for something. Lashley. Again, stop it in his tracks. And now Bobby Lashley was looking for something. Not going to get off the ropes. Now goes to the Almighty and Bray Wyatt. Now able to get him in time. But oh, what the hell is this? Pump handle takes him down. Just a pump handle slam right there. And now looking to choke the life out of Bobby Lashley. Well, Wyatt family or not, I don't think Bray Wyatt really needs him anymore. He's looking good so far in this contest now. And oh, Lashley able to fight out of Bray's grasp. And now Bobby Lashley here. Lashley has him up in suplex. The strength of Lashley being showcased. That is impressive. Stalin suplex. And Bray Wyatt, he's down. And I think he's perhaps out because Lashley now is charging up for the spare. Spare by the almighty Bobby Lashley. The other words, Bray Wyatt, he's done for. And Lashley picks up the victory. I would like to say that's an upset. No matter if Bray, if this is not the Bray Wyatt of old, I still like to think what we just saw right here tonight in your main event of the first ever episode of Heat, just before Raw. I like to think that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is an upset. And congratulations to the Almighty Bobby Lashley. Definitely a tough task here tonight to pull away. Bray Wyatt. It was rather back and forth if you ask me, but at the end of the day, Lashley, the spirit ends up being more devastating than the sister Abigail. And Bobby Lashley picks up the victory here tonight. This is where it started. This right here is where it started. That stall and suplex disorientates Bray Wyatt. Following that is the spear. Ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere because in the next matter of moments, the uh, next video will be part one of Raw, week seven. Here in humorous mode, stay tuned for that.